Hi everyone, this is a quick introduction to the Island Biogeography Simulator that you'll be using for your practical and a short guide to help you understand how to run the first trial if you're having any problems with that. So this is the opening screen that you will see when you start uh, on the website. The first option here, background, is useful to read through. You'll see that there's two pages here and by clicking on next page you'll see some other options. This just gives you some context to the work. As always, you can click on the home icon to take you back to the opening page. Next, we have the tutorial. I'd highly recommend you work through this. There are eight steps here. You move from one to the next using the next button, and it explains to you the basics and the different options and parameters you have available here. What's important here also to note this arrow at the bottom, which will take you to your data. And this then summarizes the outputs from each simulation for Island 1, sorry, Island 1 and Island 2. Let's go back now to our home screen. And we're going to go run experiments, or in our terminology, we'd say run simulations. I want to show you here how you're going to run your first trial. First thing you want to do is press pause on the bottom. Then you can look at all your parameters and see that they are correct. Have you got the right habitat for whichever trial you're running? Are your islands at the correct distance from the mainland? And you change that using the up and down arrows and you can see how the island shifts. You can do the same with island size. Here expressed as island diameter, down arrows are going to shrink that island, up arrows are going to increase it. You can also check that you're using the correct taxon, or in other words, the correct species group. And remember here we're going from uh, species that are very good at dispersal across to species that are less good at dispersal. Of course, we're talking about plants in this practical. And remember that this would represent plants that are very good at dispersing, all the way through to plants that are bad at dispersing. Okay, so you had set your parameters correctly here. For trial one, we want 10 kilometer distance for both islands, and we want a diameter of 256 kilometers or so. So this is correct, and we can check that we have tropical as the habitat and arthropods as the taxon. We're not going to change migration rate or mortality in this practical. What I then would like you to do is to click across to um, go to data and then to clear islands, reset average, go back to the design, click seven times on this fast forward arrow. Okay, and you can see we've now at maximum speed. And because we've triggered it, we can go back to date and we can see it's already generated data. This is something we again want to clear is we want a fresh simulation. Back to design, we set our timer for 30 seconds and we start our simulation. We then, we then let that run for the 30 seconds. When the 30 seconds is over, stop it, go across to data, and this is then the data that you are going to record. The average number of species on the island as well as the run time. Remember to check that you have the right parameters here and when everything's set you'll go clear islands reset average back to design where if necessary you can adjust your parameters for the next part of the trial or for the next trial good i hope you enjoy this i hope it's fun to play around with these parameters and see what it does to the predictions and the expectations that you have